2022 is halfway done and there have been so many dope New Balance GRs and collaborations that were released in 2022 and in this video I'm gonna go over my 10 favorite New Balances that were released during Q2 of 2022. This list of 10 shoes is in no particular order. All 10 of these shoes are very dope in their own way and first I'm gonna start with the two shoes that I wasn't able to cop. First we have the Kith 990 V3 in the Daytona colorway. This color way is obviously uh, inspired by the original Kith and New Balance 1600 Daytona colorway. Uh, I think this colorway is very fire and it looks great on the 990 V3. I love how loud it is and I love how it's mostly blue with accents of white and bright pink. I think it's a very solid summer colorway and the overall Kith 990 pack uh, this that released uh, a few weeks ago it was very solid and very premium in terms of materials and details so it it was a very solid 990 V3 colorway. Next up, we have a 2002R GR colorway in a navy brown and cream colorway. This is a very dope GR colorway for the 2002R. The 2002R has received a lot of love with the first half of 2022. So many GRs, so many collabs, but this colorway that released during Q2 definitely took the cake for me. Uh, I think uh, the shades of brown, cream, and blue look work so well together. Together, and it's a very fire GR colorway. Next up we have the Kith 990v2 Cyclades colorway. Uh, obviously this is part of that four pack of Kith 990 collaborations. This colorway was inspired by the Cyclades colorway on the older Kith 997.5. This is a very solid and loud summer colorway. I love the pop of orange and teal on the back. And uh, as I said before, this kith pack uh, was excellent in terms of quality and details to the quality of materials and all the extras uh, and details utilized in the packaging and even the socks that it came with. Uh, it was excellent and uh, I think I'm gonna have to cop more kith colorways from this pack. Next up is the MLE Andor 991 in the brown leather color. I didn't expect to like this colorway that much, but after wearing it and getting it in hand for a while, I really love this shoe. I think the leather quality is excellent. The shade of brown and how it works with the cream mesh and the green suede and um, uh, laces and the end logo, it just works so well. It's a very solid co uh, collaboration from ALD. It is pretty pricey though. Uh, I managed to win these in a raffle, but even then, 275 for one shoe retail is pretty crazy. I really love this colorway. I think uh, ALD killed it with their first ever main UK uh, collaboration with this colorway. I thought the gray colorway was a little too simple. It was gray suede with some olive green accents. It looked too much like a GR, but uh, this uh, brown leather one was really solid. Next up, we have the DTLR 990v3 collaboration in the Miami Drive colorway. This colorway is so fire and loud for the summer. I love the pop of the Miami colorways. The neon pinks, neon blues, and oranges look so dope. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite pairs to wear for the summer. And I love the lace options it came with. I love how you get neon uh, pink and neon blue laces. I made sure to mismatch the laces to make them even louder and pop even more. And overall, a very solid colorway from DTLR. Next up, we have the Main UK 40th Anniversary 730 in the burgundy colorway. Uh, the reason why I put this shoe on the list is because this looks like a vintage pair and not a remake pair that was made in 2022. I think New Balance killed it with the shape and shade of suede utilized on this 730. If you put this on eBay and called it a vintage pair, you would have been able to fool me because of the look of it. I think it was an excellent pair. Uh, the quality is amazing. The suede feel really solid. Even this nylon, uh, although not breathable, is very solid and sturdy when you, to the touch and it is a very well put together shoe and I think it's great that they brought this silhouette back for the Main UK 40th anniversary. Speaking of Main UK, uh, the Main UK Selected Edition made another comeback this year. Uh, there are multiple Main UK Selected Edition colorways, but the colorway that I liked the most was this 1500 colorway. Unfortunately, it pretty much only released on NewBalance.com and most of the regular sizes have sold out by now. 
uh, but uh, hopefully resell isn't that bad because this colorway is very fire. I love the multicolor nature of the shoe. You guys know me. I love my loud multicolor shoes. I love the hit of pink in the back with the shade of gold in the front, and then you get blue, teal, and navy, and forest green at the front. I think it's a bunch of colors, but they just work so well together. You even get some chocolate brown uh, leather in the back, which is really interesting. Another part of the selected edition is the utilization of higher quality materials, and uh, I gotta say the materials utilized on this shoe are definitely next level. And next up we have the 2002R Refined Future Pack or Protection Pack in the navy colorway. Last year the Refined Future Pack took the sneaker world by storm, helping propel New Balance even further when it was already on an upward trend. That original gray colorway was probably the most popular colorway of that original 3 pack. Uh, but I actually didn't really care for the original Refined Future Pack, even that uh, nice gray colorway. I liked it, I didn't love it, but this year with the three new colorways, this navy pair really caught my eye, and uh, this is definitely my favorite colorway of all the Refined Future Pack colorways. The navy and the cream just work so well, and the lighter shade of blue in the meshes are also dope, and it looks so good with the uh, jagged cuts of suede, the signature detail of the Refined Future Pack. This is a very beautiful shoe, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. And the last two shoes in this list are two Teddy 16 pairs. This was a pretty tough decision for me. Six pairs of the Teddy 16 have already released. These six pairs released in three waves. The first wave was the Marblehead and Incense pack. My personal favorite from that pack was the 990 V2. My favorite 990 silhouette in terms of looks and overall aesthetics is the V2. And the Marblehead and Incense colorway, uh, in my opinion, is my favorite of the uh, simpler low-key colorways from the Teddy 16. I love the hairy suede's use and the contrasting um, uh, brown shade in the back and then the olive mesh is just so dope. The materials are just next level and it looks so good on the 990 V2. Obviously I love my V1 and V3 in this colorway but as I said the V2 is my favorite in terms of looks and aesthetics. And then the next two waves there was the sea salt leather pack in a V2 and V3 and then finally most recently is the moonbeam and macadamia nut pack and uh, out of those uh, four shoes, my personal favorite was the Moonbeam 990 V3. All four of the newest Teddy 16 colorways are very simple and clean, but I personally like the Moonbeam colorway the best, mostly because it utilized suede again, and I think this shade of Moonbeam, or it really it's like cream and off-white, and the contrasting dark gray looks so dope on the 990 V3. It's a very solid colorway. I'm really happy to get a pair for retail early, and yeah, it's a very solid addition to the Teddy 16. And I think uh, this and the upcoming Black 990 V2 are a nice ending for the first half of the Teddy 16 when it comes to the clean low-key colorways because I am looking forward to the louder colorways eventually. So what did you guys think of my 10 favorite New Balance releases of 2022? Were there any shoes that you would have preferred on the list? Any shoes that you disagreed with? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know uh, what your favorite releases of Q2 of 2022. 22 were. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and guides, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.